Hi ladies, um, it's Jaren. I've had a couple of requests from a few of my friends of how to give yourself like a trim at home with your hair. So I am in desperate need of a trim. I've been needing to do this for weeks and I haven't had time. Um, so I'm going to do this at home. I don't see the point of paying for a trim at a salon. I do see the point of paying for a style if you have like a shorter bob or something that needs specially styled. I would definitely go to professional. But hair like mine that is just long and just hanging there and long I don't see the point in paying for just a trim you know of an inch or two you can do it at home um, if your hair is long enough and people I mean people aren't really even going to notice it's going to look just like if you get it trimmed at a salon but it's going to be a lot cheaper so this is just my method this is what I do this is what works for me it may not work for you you may think it's a horrible idea and that's okay um, but some people ask me what I do so that's what this video is going to be about um, in order to do a trim I just use a couple of things um, the first thing I use is just a trash can and I usually do this at my bathroom counter which is where I'm at now and I just set the trash can I know you can't see it but I set it right on the counter right in front of me so that when I'm trimming my hair I can hold it over that trash can and that way there's hardly anything on the floor and you don't have a lot of cleanup so I just kind of you know maneuver my hair over wherever the trash can is when I'm cutting it um, so I have it right there so I don't have much of a mess some people like to just have newspaper or or whatever so it's whatever method to keep things clean that works for you. Um, the next thing I use is just a couple little clips. You can use rubber bands or whatever. Um, a comb, not a brush, but a flat comb because um, that's going to hold it straighter and things like that. Um, you are going to need scissors that you use just for cutting your hair. Um, you can get, I think these are these are Conair. Um, I got these at Walmart for like, they were under $5. And I don't use these for anything but trimming my hair. Because if you do, they get dull um, and, and it's just not good. So you are going to want a pair of hair scissors just for cutting your hair. And you can get them at Walmart. And the next thing that I use is a razor. Just a regular, everyday razor um, to do some of the layering. I know that sounds really weird. I thought it was weird the first time that I saw it myself. Um, but it actually works really well for like my bangs and things like that. A lot of the time between trims, I'll just use the razor to trim, you know, just my bangs. So that's all you need. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I kind of clip my hair two different times because I have an upper layer where it's kind of like my bangs or you know just the shorter part of my hair so I just kind of wrap that up where it looks really cool um, and I use this smaller clip just to clip it out of the way um, then I'm going to take a second layer which is just kind of the middle and it doesn't have to be perfect like I said this is just because I have so much hair um, that if I don't clip some of it out of the way, we're going to have some issues. Alright, so let me get that clipped up. Like this. Alright, so I kind of have my hair divided into three sections. I'm taking my rings off. They're getting caught in my hair. Um, and my bottom section is, is very simple. That's what I'm going to use the scissors for. Um, this is the main part that I actually will use the scissors for. Um, so I know that my hair is long, but you can see it's really not a whole bunch of the bottom. And um, I take my fingers and I go to the very back of my head, and I'm just going to split that right down the middle on the nape of my neck. Just because you can't see behind yourself, and so it's pretty much impossible to do. So I just kind of split that in half. And I'm just going to comb that out. And you also want to do this when your hair is dry. If you do this when your hair is wet, um, I mean, it's going to dry and be shorter or whatever. So you want to make sure you do it on a day when your hair is um, dry. And I do it when my hair is straight and not curled. Okay, so um, they have special tools that you can use. Um, I forgot what they're called, but you pull them down your hair and it lines it up perfectly. Um, but you can do that with your fingers, so I just don't see the point. Um, so you're just gonna you're just gonna take your fingers, you're gonna smooth it out. I go to just the very very end there because, like I said, I'm just trimming. You shouldn't even really be able to notice that I do this. Um, and you can see I got some split ends there, and so I just cut that, 
and I'm cutting over the little trash can right now. Like I said, my trims you're not really going to notice, okay? I'm just going to do that to make it a little bit shorter. So you can see, um, you know, those split ends are gone. And you can't really see it too much in the back because it's too long. But that, I mean, that's it. I really don't do a whole lot to the very bottom at all because I like the length. So um, you're going to do the same thing on the other side to where they're about the same length. Um, and also, if this is your first time doing your hair at home, please start small. The only way you're going to get more confident in cutting your hair at home is, is starting with a really small, small trim. Okay, that way, trim it. Um, now, I don't really like the blunt look like this. I just don't. I like more of a choppy, layered look. So, um, one thing I'll do is after I've kind of cut it to the length where I've gotten the split ends off, I will just take my scissors and instead of cutting this way, you cut this way just in kind of little chopping motions um, just to kind of make that kind of uneven, not a perfect blunt cut just because I don't, I don't like that look. So um, that's kind of all I'm going to do here. I'm just going to kind of make that not as perfectly straight. I don't like a perfect straight line. Um, a lot of people do, but um, I, I don't. So. That's kind of it for the bottom. That's all I do. Um, so I'm just going to put that back. I'm going to use my little rubber band that I have here. Just going to put that out of the way. And um, we're going to move on to the next layer. Okay, so, and your hair looks totally hot while you're doing this. <laughs> okay, um... So now we have got kind of the middle layer. I'm going to do the same thing. Um, just divide it in the back, down the middle, bring it to the front, just because you can't see behind yourself. Okay, um, and here we go. Again, it's going to be the same concept as I did for the bottom layer um, with this layer. So I'm just going to take the scissors, as you can see, staying on my tiptoes here. I'm just going to go to the bottom and you can see that my hair used to be layered how this is a lot shorter so I'm just going to surpass that and go to the very bottom and again I'm just going to trim off just I mean it's less than an inch and I like to just kind of make that not a perfect cut so I'm just going to kind of put my scissors the different direction and do that okay um, now as you saw when I pulled that down I have one area here, these front little strands here, that are a little shorter. Um, those have been kind of just layered in, and I'm just going to barely, just barely trim them. The key to doing this at home is to just barely trim a little, little bit just to get the split ends off, and that's all you want to do. If you want a big style, go to the salon. Because <laughs> um, I just do this when I'm trimming. So kind of the same thing here, just going to knock off those dead ends make that not a blunt cut and if you like a blunt cut you're just gonna leave it that way I just don't okay same thing take those front pieces right here that are a little shorter and just kind of cut those and that, I mean that's basically the whole process I just kind of trim it over the trash can and I mean that's really okay um, so I've already done the bottom two layers and I don't really do anything special to them I just I barely barely trim them But you can see that that looks a lot cleaner a lot healthier than it did a few minutes ago Okay, so now we're going to take our top layer and what you want to do here is you want to part it um, How you would normally part it like if your hair parts to a certain direction you're going to want to part it that direction um, So mine always parts like this um, so this is how I'm going to comb it and I have I mean less over here than I do here but that's fine um, this is where the razor is going to come into play I'm pretty much done with the scissors at this point point. Um, and the cool thing about trimming this at home it takes like 10 minutes and it just keeps your hair healthy and maintained and it's not a big undertaking um, so whenever I'm going to color my hair I just give it a quick trim just to liven it up a little more okay so this is where the razor is going to come into play this is just a regular um, shaving razor and I don't use this to shave with this is just my hair razor um, and again you want to use this when your hair is dry now this is the part that was scary to me when I first did it um, 
But you can also find other YouTube videos where people do this if you're feeling unsure about it. Um, this is where we're going to razor cut kind of layers in the top. I just kind of like the front of my hair razored, you know, to give it a little more volume or whatever. So um, this is where we're going to razor cut our hair. You got to be careful. You do have to practice with this so you don't cut yourself. If you want, you can even put gloves on. Um, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm going to be okay. Um, so you want to start the razor where you want your shortest layer. So if you want your shortest layer, I mean down here, that's where you want to start. If you want your shortest layer up here, that's where you want to start. So um, I kind of like mine mm, kind of right here. So that's where I'm going to start. And you just want to take little chunks of hair and you're going to take the razor and you're going to kind of put your thumb on the back of it, um, but you're not really going to press with your thumb. You're just going to kind of lightly set it there to hold the hair there, but you're not going to press with it because you don't want to cut yourself. Um, so I'm just going to start about right here. I got to look in the mirror when I do this and that way you can see this better. Okay, and you want to be over your trash can. All right, so you're just going to start here, and you if you don't feel comfortable holding it right under the razor, you can hold it right underneath, which is what I'll do. Um, you're just going to put that razor flat, and you're going to just kind of press down on your hair and run it down your hair. And when you do that, you will see it cuts off hair, and you can't really tell, um, but once you style it, you'll be able to tell that you have kind of a layered or PC look there. And you're going to do that just down your hair like so and, and just start small and if you want kind of more layers going on there um, do that. I like my bangs a little shorter than they are now. They like really really grown out so I'm going to shorten those bangs quite a bit here. So I'm going to kind of start about right here on the bangs because they're way too long and this is just gonna cut your hair I mean and you're gonna push very very lightly because if you push hard it will just cut your hair off there and you don't want to cut it off you want to kind of thin it so um, I'm gonna do one more so you just kind of barely press and you'll feel it dragging your hair off so I mean that's that's really it that's all you do and um, there's a lot more pieciness or volume here Okay, so like I said, I want my bangs just a little shorter. I seriously have let my hair grow out way too long. Um, so I'm going to just kind of trim those just a little bit more. Um, and this razor trick, I think just it saved my life as far as trimming my hair at home. It just, it actually looks really good once you style it and all of that mess. Okay, so that's it. And um, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, I don't have as much hair here, so you just run it down. I mean, that's really it. Um, let's see. Trim those. And that, my darlings, is um, about it. So after you do that, you are pretty much done with just a basic trim. Um, and my hair looks, I mean... All those split ends are gone. Um, I've kind of layered the top just a little bit. Like I said, this is not drastic. This is just an at-home quick trim when you're like, oh my gosh, I have split ends. My hair looks like crap, but I don't want to go to the salon and I don't want to pay for it. Um, I do go to the salon every once in a while when I've trimmed it myself a couple times and I need that professional um, cut again. But that's just a basic, I mean basic basic trim it takes practice and don't be scared to do it if you're scared do it like I don't know in the summer or something where you don't see a lot of people I don't know um, just practice it um, and don't do a lot the key is to not try to cut off four inches because it's not gonna look right but if you cut off just barely an inch or barely half an inch no one's gonna tell and your hair is gonna look much healthier and we did that at home for cheap and I've got a trash can full of hair. So um, that's how I trim my hair. I hope this helped. Um, if you try it, let me know how it works. Or if you have any questions, um, let me know. And I hope that this makes you feel refreshed and more beautiful when you need just that kind of pick-me-up. And now I'm going to go to actually color my hair. So I'll probably uh, put a picture of the finished look or maybe even do a video and the review of the hair color I use. So stay tuned, ladies, and have a wonderful evening.